Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are on the Vale, and we are starting off our projects for today with the removal of a bunch of trees. Today we are working on terraforming, and this is the area I want to start working on. This is the area I'm going to terraform, and it starts with the guy in the wagon. Based on the Bulgarian and Malorian novels, this is Alder. He is a god. He's the eldest of seven gods, has no worshippers because he refused worshippers. Instead, he has disciples. And the main characters, Belgarath, Polgara, Belgaron, just to name a few, are his disciples. Now all of the disciples, or I should say most, end up living in the Vale at some point. The Vale of Alder. Not to be confused with this server, which is also called the Vale. The Vale of Alder is at the end of this road. You follow the road down and you will get there. Sometimes traveling in the world, appearing as an old man. Here we see Alder traveling back towards the Vale, possibly to his own tower. Now, through the power of editing, this video of Alder was created after I finished the terraforming. So the ground is no longer flat behind him, but actually goes up into a hill and the road beside him is no longer made out of what it was, but is now made out of mushroom and mud. Packed mud, to be exact. So that gives you some background and knowledge about the server and the Belgorod novels, which I haven't done in quite a while. We will see Alder later. Now it's time to move on to the terraforming. So what I've done here is I have built out kind of a shell. I used frog lights to build it out. And it's kind of to give you an idea of what this is going to look like. But essentially it may not be completely visible to anyone but me. But let's let me let me give you what show you what I mean. Coming from the direction of Falder's farm, it is a staircase out of the area and it's just going to go up higher. And follow along at this upper level here that you see marked with the frog lights. Everything that's underneath it will then be inside the mountain. The goal then becomes to essentially cover it up. This will be the new ceiling for the area underneath. I have a lot of stone saved up. Several chests and shulker boxes allow me to fill all this in without too much effort. Just a lot of time. One of the biggest concerns in doing this is how to transition the edges so that I can transition what I hope to be a level top down to the remaining mountain and the ground below. Now, as you can see here, there's an entrance that I want to keep and it is an entrance to this cave that eventually takes you over to where you can see the farm that duplicates soccer boxes. So this has to transition downward to allow access to that cave. Now this part gets a little tricky. I want to shorten the waterfall but I don't want to get rid of the waterfall. So I'm still unclear how to 
deal with this opening. It happens to be one of the only ways now to get down into the area below. So we'll have to see what I come up with for this. For now, it's a work in progress. And this is where we start the long grind, because there is a lot of stone to fill in. I am going to use some lighting as I go, because I just don't want to build a large monster spawner creating this huge surface where monsters can spawn is not a generally a good idea. But I'm going to speed this up a little bit because this does take a while. This is the cave I didn't want to close off because if you follow it, it leads you to a place where you can AFK for the Shulker farm. You also may note at this point the gate is open. I'll be sure to close it. Next comes gathering the resources, essentially lots and lots of grass and dirt. And then we can finish the terraforming. Let's go do that. back and we have finished the terraforming. I am in this town or farm area, Falder's Farm. Let's go up and I'll show you what's happened. top and we've got our road and it swings around like so we've got all this wildlife and then it comes around here there's the entrance to the cave that takes you to the AFK farm and we come along Everything looks good. And then eventually we get to the, this side and we go down to the bottom here and wave to Alder. So there you go. That's what it looks like, and that was my big, big, big project for this episode. Shouldn't be here. Neither should this. 
so you didn't see that anyway that's where I'm at and I'm going to say this is a good place to end the episode so thank you for watching and goodbye